You know, it's interesting that you said this is Shahid because you know I know a few people who have already watched the film. The film releases uh, this Friday, of course. Uh, so um, you know, a lot of people have said that that is in fact the case that you are Shahid. You have completely surrendered to the role in every possible way that an actor can. And how difficult really was that for you? And where do you get this from? Because do you have any formal training? <laughs> or? Yes, I've been trained yeah. uh, in, fil- in a film yeah. school in Pune, film in FDI. Yeah. But otherwise, I don't know. I think it just uh, it just happens in the moment. Yeah, it's there. Yeah, because there are some really like difficult scenes. Of I've not seen the yeah. film myself, but from what I hear, that you know where you know there's there's nudity as well, and that's a difficult thing for any actor really to do. So was that is that a kind of humbling process also for you, or what made you what convinced you really to do it? Uh, that particular scene, basically, when we were shooting that scene, it was never meant to be like that. But mm. uh, uh, the scene was not coming across. There was something missing. Mm. So I asked him, "Gave I think I should be naked in this scene. Mm. That's a police. That's a torture scene, mm. basically, remand room scene." Mm. So he said, "If you feel like it, just go. Just go ahead and do it." Mm. So I did that. I uh, mainly because I wanted to feel the the mental harassment, the mental pain of the of mm. Shahid. I was not getting that, so I think it was just a tool actually, just to come from the other way, yeah. and which really helped. And it and and then I was so much into it that it took me so many hours to just come out of it. No, obviously you don't get actors every day who would you know suggest something like that to you. You know, no, no, so I've how never I've never yeah. worked with an actor like uh, yeah. Raj. Mm. Uh, you know, he uh, surrendered himself to the role, mm. uh, to my vision, mm. and uh, he became uh, shy. Mm. You know, we we shot without a script. Mm. The script that was written was left behind at home. Yeah. So we would come, and uh, the idea was it was like a meditative thing. You just be in the moment, be there, and you mm. know, live life, live Shahid's life. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, the fact that someone like Raj was probably, as you said, you know, uh, cooperative with your vision. Do you think that you know you said I think in an interview that you were under pressure to find like a big star and a big face for this? Are you happier that you 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 yeah. know went with someone like Raj who surrendered himself? Right, I was very unhappy about having to be under pressure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I wanted to make the film fearlessly with a lot of freedom, mm. and. Uh, I think uh, him coming on, you know, I think he'll be like this even if he, uh, once he becomes the big star that he deserves to be. Yeah, and I think that is really going to happen also because you know <laughs> I was, I, you know, because obviously you're so so talented, and I think it took Kaipoche really for everyone to realize that it was you who was so talented. It was, you know, because I think people used to get caught up in your characters more than the star, so to speak. Have you really seen that change also in the terms of where the fraternity uh, responds to you? No, absolutely, just absolutely. The number of script that that comes my way now has been really increased mm. i'm i'm getting like uh, all kinds of uh, roles all kinds of characters and and all lead parts so i think ah. that that is in that way that it has changed a lot yeah. absolutely and you know obviously you also said that you know this is obviously a, a very angst ridden topic i'm assuming you know you said that he's a young man and things like that but it is angst ridden and even for you you said that a lot of your personal angst again which i read somewhere that you've also put into this project in in what way do you mean well that? Uh, my personal angst was also an angst towards myself mm. i felt i did some very indifferent work in the mm. past few years mm. And I had to sort of come out of my creative death, mm. <laughs> you know. So I was almost it's immersed. Very, very strong <laughs> yeah, words. Yeah. 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 yeah, I've emerged from Obviously the death. Obviously, this intensity is all <laughs> coming out in the film because everyone seems to be. Well, so the film is also a lot of fun, you know. Uh, is it? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think there are courtroom scenes in mm. the film. You know, it's like a, it's a courtroom drama, a biopic, a romantic Love tragedy. Story. Mm, it's all you these find things. time for romance in the middle of all of this as well. Imagine. Okay. But we all do actually. A multitasker, I must <laughs> you know, say. I, I believe that romance drives uh, absolutely. Uh, I couldn't your mission. Anything. Yes, absolutely. Without romance, there's no mission. Yeah, yeah. So his romance was essential to the plot, mm. and uh, I think uh, the courtroom drama mm. is something that uh, we have never seen before in an Indian film. Mm. It's a lot of fun, mm-hmm. and yet it is almost it transports you to an Indian courtroom. Well,